And welcome to Coin 6 News. I'm Lisa Balick. Portland Street takeover is taking off as the weather warms up and it's lighter outside longer. Portland police off and running to shut them down. Our Joyce O'Gary live with the latest. Portland police tell us hundreds of people were involved. At least six people were arrested. One gun was seized and 12 cars were taken away. And people who live in the neighborhood say they're tired of the street racing. It's been happening for long enough now that, like, there doesn't seem to be a strategy for how to stop it. Portland police, along with other agencies, responding to street racing on Northeast Gleason and 102nd Street. Hundreds of people watching cars go in circles, even fireworks going off. Police drop down spike strips to stop cars from getting away. Another Portland Street takeover Friday night on Swan Island, where at least one person arrested and more than a dozen cars were towed away. Officers arrived just before 8 p.m. People who live close to these intersections want police to put an end to street racing. It's loud and it smells bad. And, you know, you get a bunch of strangers just clogging up your street and it won't stop. And nobody seems to be able to do anything about it. And then it's just irritating for all the people who are trying to get through the intersection and just every it's it's disrespectful to every person except for the people who are participating in it. Governor Tina Koltek signed a bill into law in 2023 that will increase punishments for people caught street racing in the state. And anyone convicted of street racing could face up to a year in prison and a more than $6,000 fine or both. Live in Portland, Joyce O'Geary, Coin 6 News.